when you ingest all of literature pre the women's rights movement, Mm -hmm. um, then a lot of what the LLM spits out might have the idea that, you know, women's work is at home and taking care of kids and stuff like that. Um, so knowing all that, you know, about how all this data was ingested, uh, what are the ways that you think that these uh, biases could seep into the storytelling of games? Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, and it sort of connects to, you know, what we're seeing with sort of some of the research around what they call covert bias, uh, because the bias you're talking about where, you know, you ask a question like, um, you know, where is a woman's place? And, and, it, and it would come back with, you know, in the home cooking dinner, it, they've managed to train it out of saying that thankfully. But what they haven't managed to train out is the fact that actually that association is still deeply baked into the model. So if you ask it the question in a different way that wasn't predicted by the people trying to train it out, you can still see those outputs. So, you know, you ask it like, um, you know, draw me a picture of someone cooking dinner in a home, it's going to draw a woman, Uh, right? It's like Uh, a guy who's learned to not say that, but still, (laughs) it's like... Still believes it. Exactly. It's it's like that. It's different because it's it's different, but it's like that. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And so I think, you know, when you ask that question, like, I think that's what's going to happen is the bias is going to creep out in maybe a given character is going to get slightly less great rewards from a request or something on a regular basis. And it'll just sort of like gradually build up over time to be a disadvantage or an advantage or, or harm or, or not, you know. Um, and so I think it'll be quite subtle. And you're saying these uh, little subtle ways that it'll come through, I guess, uh, over the course of many episodes or quests or whatever you want to call yeah. it, these things can compound? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, potentially. I mean, it depends on the game mechanics. But yeah, you can imagine like if every, uh, you know, if you're playing a female character, and your friend's playing a male character, and every time you get a reward that's like 5% not as good as their reward, like, that's going to suck over after a year if yeah. you're playing this. And the nature of it could change as well. Like, you know, maybe um, like a female character getting more healing items or... Um, yeah, know, yeah, yeah, it could be uh, like <laughs> this kind of weird discrimination in a different way, yeah. But what what's interesting in gaming, obviously, is that people craft their own uh, personas for the games, right? So it'll be interesting to see how much the bias uh, relates to the persona and how much That's it relates so to the person uh, themselves, how much of the person themselves is coming through in subtle ways. Yeah. Because you know, this it, like, the, this is the thing about how much data is in there. It's incredibly subtle. Uh, you know, the, the things it can pick up are remarkable because of, you know, the, the, the volume that we're dealing with. 